I want to create a new button in UCCNC on the new screen set. Um, I want to get this Pro button here and, and move it or create a copy of it, and place it down here on the main screen that's up all the time no matter what other screen I'm in. Uh, this Pro button here that's here at the moment does a different Pro macro to what it does in this wizard uh, and I don't actually use this one. So what I'm going to do is put this button here behind JSP so I don't lose it if I want to use it again in the future uh, and, and make a duplicate of this and put it down here. So to do that, we go into settings, go into edit screen, then we go shift main. Uh, I've got to collect a bit of information first, so we click on JSP. I want to write down the X and Y position of this button so I know exactly where to hide the probe button behind. Then we go to the probe button. From here I want to uh, write down this picture number so I make the new button the same picture and also the same height and the same width. Once I've done that, shift probe, I need to click on this button here. Now notice this is a lead, not a button. So we grab hold of this lead, move it out of the way, click on this one here, and here's the information we need. The button number is 821. So that once that's done, we can go back, click on this lead, we'll move this lead back into position so we don't muck it up later. Shift go back to shift main and we'll start doing our moving process. So click on this one here, we know we want to move this to, to behind the button and that number was 1344. So we apply that, instantly it moves behind there. Just move this along a bit more. Next we want to go create a button. That button's actually hidden behind the screen here. Go into selection and let's start in entering our information. So the button number we want to use is 821, which we call that probing macro. The picture we want to use is the old probe button, so 73. We know the height is 40. We know the width is 172. And the new position we want the button is 1524. And 857. Apply that settings and it creates this down here. And we go into file and save it. Now that is saved now. Um, so anytime I press this button, it will come, it'll do the macro. One thing that I do notice though that I forgot to do is this layer number. This is actually on layer two. So if you go to any of the other screens, actually we'll do that first, we'll have a look at that. So if we now go to this one here, this button's not here anymore, same as all these other ones. To fix that, so it's on all the screens, we go back to settings, go back to edit screen, shift main, so we're on the main screen, identify that probe button, and we want to change that to layer one. Apply that setting, Save that screen set, close down. Now that button's on all the screens.